so far we've created a pretty useful use auto save hook. So if I type my name in here, we'll see that it's saving and I refresh and my name is still there. And that's really great. But as I mentioned in the last video, if you've been following along, we actually have a bug here and it's pretty hard to see right now because everything's working really well. But let's say that someone is actually needs to sanitize this state before they uh, throw it down. So we're going to use this function that I created called sanitize state. And what sanitize state does is it actually just pulls off my name is, which is uh, this, this one, um, and doesn't pass it along. I don't know. For some reason, let's just say that the, the uh, users of this or the creators of the state here, they don't want that to be passed into the data and they only want these first two fields to be passed into the data. So if that's the case, we'll save this and let's go ahead and give this a refresh. What we'll see is if I start changing things, it'll start saving, right? But it's going to continue to save. And we've actually caught ourselves into an infinite asynchronous loop, which is not good. And the reason is, is because we're doing does not equals equals. And that's just a reference. This is just a reference to a, an object. But with the sanitized state, we're always updating the object that's passed in. So this is no good. And we could, you know, want, rely on our, the user of our API to make sure they always pass in, you know, a, a, the correct state. And the best way to do that would be to use memo. So we're going to say const sanitize state equals uh, use memo. And this is another hook that comes from React. And what it, what it means is you're going to also give it a dependency array, just like use effect. And anytime one of the dependencies changes, the function inside of this is going to get recalled. So that function is sanitize state with state. And that means that whenever state changes, it will have to update. So now we're saying that sanitize state is actually going to be just as secure basically as state or just as, you know, have just as much referential integrity. So if we refresh and we say, my name is Brooks and then it's saving and it's not going to continue doing that, which is really great. So we've solved that problem, but this puts a lot on the user to make sure that they're always using use memo. And honestly, that's kind of annoying. That's not a really great developer experience. Um, so let's see if there's a, a better way we can solve this. So we're going to delete use memo. I'm going to go back into here. We're actually just going to pull in something called equals from fast deep equal. And this is just a, a deep equal comparison thing uh, function. I didn't write this. This I found it on NPM. And it will actually do a deep equality check to see if these have changed. So I'm going to say, uh, let's see, it is currently always saving because I'm not doing not equal. So let's save that. We'll refresh. So librand saving. Great. And then if I delete it, it goes again. So that's really great. Now you may be worried that this is going to be really slow and intensive. And the reality is this fast deep equal, I mean, it's in the name. It's really actually not that fast. This is a pretty small function. You know, if you don't like this and you want to actually encourage them to pass in a, um, you know, a memoise piece of data or whatever, you can do that. I would, you know, set some, maybe some warnings or something like that to let them know if they do get into an asynchronous uh, for, or, you know, con infinite loop like we ran into. Uh, you kind of want them to know what's going on just because there's a lot of foot foot guns that can reach in that place. Um, this still isn't impervious to everything. For instance, if you had an array and for some reason you were sorting it, but you still wanted that to be, you know, the same either way, um, th this would fail. So the real solution may be adding some comparison function in here, but but for now, this is really good enough. And, and honestly, this is going to be plenty fast. This really isn't going to be causing that big of an issue. I mean, you can see I'm typing and, and there's really actually no delay in what I'm doing. So this really isn't going to be the problem is this equal. So I think we're okay keeping this fast equals here.